بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو فاو پبلک اسکول ای لرننگ کلاس نائن سبجیکٹ انگلش یونٹ نمبر ٹویلو دا اول وومن پارٹ ٹو اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر میم روبینا گیلانی پیج نمبر ون ٹوینٹی کمپریہنشن پارٹ اے ہیز بین ڈن ان یور نوٹس کم ٹو پارٹ بی چوز دا کریکٹ آپشن نمبر ون پوائٹس کمپیریزن آف اولڈ وومن ٹو اے وائٹ کینڈل از میڈ ان دا فارم آف اے پرسنفیکیشن بی سملی سی ایلٹریشن ڈی میٹافور سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز ایو آلریڈی ڈسکس ان پارٹ ون دا کریکٹ آنسر از سملی نمبر ٹو دا پوائٹ کمپیئرز دا اولڈ وومن ود دا اسپینٹ ریڈینس آف دا ونٹر سن What does it mean? A. The old woman is weak but with rich experience of life. B. The old woman is strong and with wide experience of life. C. The old woman is symbol of beauty and sunrise. D. The old woman is symbol of success and growth. So the correct option is the old woman is weak but with rich experience of life. Three, her brood gone from her means A. Her beauty gone B. Her children gone C. Her strength gone D. Her wealth gone So the correct answer is her children gone Number four, the poet says that as the water is under a ruined mill, what does it mean? A. To emphasize that there is steadiness and maturity in the life of an old woman. Emphasize means zor dena. B. To point out that it is very difficult for old women to show whether they feel confident or not. C. To suggest that old women do not usually have the feeling of hope. D. To indicate that wide range of experience is an extra ornament in the life of an old lady. So the correct option is to emphasize that there is steadiness and maturity in the life of an old woman. Steadiness matlab sabit kadmi maturity pohtagi. Number five, what does travail done mean based on the poem? A. Difficulties of an old woman neither vanished nor runs away. B. Laborious life of an old woman. C. Calmness and wisdom of the life of an old woman. D. Natural beauty vanished in an old woman. So the correct option is B. Laborious life of an old woman. Matlab, مشکت یا محنت بھری زندگی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس بفور ڈوئنگ آر ایکسرسائز آن ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو وائس آن پیج ون ٹوینٹی ٹو لیٹس ریوائز واٹ از مین بائی ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو وائس آف ورب سو ایکٹیو وائس ہیئر دا سینٹر آف اٹینشن از دا سبجیکٹ ان اے سینٹینس وین دا ورب از ان دا ایکٹیو وائس دین دا سبجیکٹ ڈز سم تھنگ فار ایگزامپل احمد پلیز کرکٹ Okay, so Ahmed is the subject and he is doing something. The driver opened the door of the car. So the driver is the subject and he is doing something. Rabia will make the picture. Rabia is the subject and she is doing something. Passive voice. When the center of attention is changed to the object, it becomes a passive voice. When a verb is in the passive voice, then something is done to the subject. For example, Now change the same active uh, voices into passive voices. Ahmed plays cricket. Cricket is played by Ahmed. Okay. So now something is done to the subject. Cricket has become the subject. First it was object in active voice. But now it has become the subject in passive voice. And now something is done to the subject. And similarly we have added a helping verb is because it is present indefinite tense so we have put is with it and we have used third form of the verb okay place has been changed into played third form of the verb or we can also call it past participle now the driver opened the door of the car the door of the car was opened by the driver okay so again the object the door of the car has become the subject in passive voice and something is done to the subject similarly we have added the helping verb was we have put was because it is past indefinite tense so we have used was okay and since it is already third form of the verb so uh, 
sorry second form over here and it is third form of the verb since both uh, have the same form okay open opened and opened rabia will make the picture the picture will be made by rabia so this is future indefinite tense so will will be used and be has been added okay and third form of the verb made is used now let's discuss some rules of active and passive voice the first rule is the change change the place of the subject with the object as i've already explained while discussing these three sentences that the objects have been changed into subjects okay third form of the verb is used as i've already explained when we change active voice into passive voice we use third form of the verb like place has been changed into played okay open over here is the second form and open here over here is the third form okay make is the first form and made 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 is over here the third form the preposition by is used before the object so as we have seen in the previous sentences we have put by in the passive voices change in the playing helping verb according to the tense so as we have seen in these sentences like ahmed plays cricket cricket is played by ahmed so this is how we put helping verbs while we change the active into passive voice and change in the pronoun uh, when we change active into passive voice we change the pronouns for example if we say she plays cricket so it will be cricket is played by her so she will become her similarly he will become uh, him similarly they will become them etc dear students now let's discuss all the categories one by one present indefinite tense is am or are is used in the passive voice plus third form of the verb for example she plays hockey this is present indefinite tense so when we change into it change it into passive voice it becomes hockey is played by her so helping verb is is used and third form of the verb i like apples apples are liked by me are because apples is plural so we use are and third form of the verb past indefinite tense i finished the book the book was finished by me so we have put was we use was or were in the passive voice of the past indefinite tense plus third form of the verb so since finished is telling us that it is past indefinite tense so when we change into passive voice the uh, uh, the subject becomes the object so the book was finished by me future indefinite tense i shall give you 2 rupees so shall is telling us that it is future indefinite tense so when we change into passive voice we use will be or shall be plus third form of the verb so 2 rupees will be given to you by me we shall kill the snake so the snake will be killed by us present continuous tense the hen is laying eggs so is laying is telling us that it is present continuous tense when we change into passive voice we use is being or are being plus third form of the verb so eggs are being laid by the hen are because eggs is plural so are being laid by the hen past continuous tense was being or were being plus third form of the verb is used some boys were collecting dry leaves so in passive voice dry leaves were being collected by some boys so we have put were being in the past uh, in the passive voice present perfect tense has been or have been is used in the passive voice plus third form of the verb for example we have loved our country passive voice our country has been loved by us has been because country is singular so we have used has been in the passive voice past perfect tense 
had been plus third form of the verb is used for example the girls had already sung songs so songs had already been sung by the girls so ha had has been changed into had been okay plus third form of the verb future perfect tense will have been or shall have been is used in the passive voice plus third form of the verb for example we shall have taken the rest taken rest rest will have been taken by us dear students there are four categories of tenses which cannot be changed into active voice for example the first one is future continuous tense this tense cannot be changed into passive voice for example if i say ahmed will be playing cricket this is future continuous tense if i change it into passive voice and i say cricket will be being played by ahmed so it will become double b and being will become double which is wrong similarly present past and future perfect continuous tenses cannot be changed into passive voice because they already have had been has been or will have been in them okay for example ahmed has been playing cricket since morning so we cannot change into passive voice because already has been is there similarly ahmed had been playing cricket since morning similarly ahmed will have been playing cricket since morning so all these are examples of past present and future perfect continuous tense and it cannot be changed because in that case uh, the helping verbs or the uh, modal verbs will become double so that is why we cannot change them dear students now come to exercise on page 22 sentences are given in active voice change them into passive voice first i have finished the book this is present perfect tense so the passive voice will be the job has been finished by me okay they built this house in 1990 so this is past indefinite tense passive voice will be this house was built by them in 1990 he has bought a new car so this is present perfect tense a new car has been bought by him i wrote a letter this is past indefinite tense a letter was written by me they sent the parcel on monday past indefinite tense the parcel was sent by them on monday The police caught the thief yesterday this is again past indefinite tense the thief was caught by the police yesterday She baked a cake again it is past indefinite tense a cake was baked by her I read a book a book was read by me she gave the beggar a 5 rupee coin again this is past indefinite tense the beggar was given a 5 rupee coin by her so as we have already discussed that in past indefinite tense we use was or were plus third form of the verb so look at all these sentences was built was sent was written was caught was baked was read was given so most of them are past indefinite sentences just the first one is perfect so have has been changed into has been plus third form of the verb okay similarly this one the third one is uh, present perfect tense has so it it has been changed into has been okay and the rest of the sentences are past indefinite tenses Now exercise B rewrite the following changing the active voice into passive and passive sentences to active Number 1 the thieves have been arrested by the police so this is passive sentence okay because have been and third form of the verb is telling us that this is passive voice so we'll change into active and we'll make the uh, object into subject the police has 
और हैव अरेस्टेड द थीव्स ओके नंबर टू द मार्वलस परफॉर्मेंस डिलीवर्ड बाय द चिल्ड्रन इन थ्रॉल्ड अस दिस इज पैसिव सेंटेंस ओके मार्वलस मतलब बहुत शानदार इन थ्रॉल्ड अस मतलब हम पर जादू कर दिया तो वील चेंज इन इन टू पैसिव by saying we were enthralled by the marvelous performance delivered by the children okay because over here it there will be two objects okay by uh, the marvelous performance and the children these are double objects so that is why by is used two times he has been invited to the party this is passive voice So we'll change into active. They have invited him to their party. So look at the change in the pronouns. Okay, uh, there has been changed into they, and he has been changed into him. We have shipped your order. This is. Active voice, passive voice. Your order has been shipped by us. The girl recited the poem beautifully. This is active voice. The poem was recited beautifully by the girl. This is passive voice. The guests enjoyed the party. Active voice. The party was enjoyed by the guests. The children impressed everyone with it. The child impressed everyone with his polite manners. Active voice. Everyone was impressed by the child with his polite manners. A girl from Banu won the first prize. Active voice. The first prize was won by the girl from Banu. The readers liked the latest book of the writer. Active voice. The latest book of the writer is liked by the readers. So, dear students, we have re reached the end of part two. and all the exercises i hope you will gain some benefit from it thank you so much stay home stay safe